quest for the cup may be over, but it became a journey that one business will never forget. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres shows us how one man's passion helped, and it will continue to pump up fans. There's the saying, all good things must come to an end, whether it's the Stanley Cup final or, in this case, Sam the Balloon Man's most impressive work to date. And that's this Preds-inspired costume. Get it in the root on the Preds, baby! Fred's fever inflated excitement to an all-time high. Can I take a picture with you? No, yes you can. Right. <laughs> and no one feels more inflated than Sam Kermines. Careful, there's somebody in here. Swallowed by balloons. There's a little over 500 balloons in this right now. And consumed by greetings. Hi, how are y'all? Yeah, you? absolutely. If you don't take one now, I'm offended. Sam, the balloon man, struck gold during the Stanley Cup final. Now say go Preds like you mean it. Go Preds! Go Preds! His giant replica of Preds goalie Pecorine gained him national attention. Yep, yeah, that's me. Thank you. But that was before game six, one day after the Preds lost. His most popular creation to date is popping out of existence. All this popping, I'm shocked the neighbors haven't called 911 yet. He says it's bittersweet. I am more sad about the loss last night. <laughs> this, I know that I can't keep it. Um, I just don't have room for it. He liked the recognition, but knows it's time to let it go and look ahead. I brought a little bit of joy for just even just a minute into their lives. Man, I love my job. Think of it as therapy after the defeat. This Preds fan feels deflated, but not for long. Because I know there's another season coming up in just a few months. And I get to do it again. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. He created two balloon costumes for the Preds. That's a total of 15 hours of work and more than 1,000 balloons.